My name is Derek Watts. I'm the art director on Mass Effect 2, and I work here in Bioware up in Canada in Edmonton. I've been at Bioware for almost 11 years. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, I'm old. Okay. I remember when E3 was fun. <laughs> That's how. Uh, well, as the art director, I get involved at the, at the beginning of the game. Uh, I work a lot with Casey Hudson. He's the, uh, the producer of the game. And what we're trying to do as an art director is get his vision, get it into the game. I'll have lead environment artists, character artists, I cover effects, and, and uh, even animation. But usually what we do is we start out, we get the story, and we start visualizing it. Uh, Ilium is one of the uh, Asari worlds we go to. Uh, Miko had uh, done quite a few concepts for this. This one he, uh, he did pretty quickly, and then this was a really nice one he wanted to do of just kind of the feel of the, uh, the city of, of uh, on Ilium. So some of these paintings he does fairly quickly. Uh, we'll actually have part of the level in the background, and the level artist might come up and say, hey, I'm on this area, can you do something in about uh, an hour or two? And he'll quickly paint in some of the structures. And then this one here is just another docking area of Ilium. So for Ilium, the entire planet, you might get maybe a dozen concepts and that's it for the environments. I have concept artists, I do a bit of concept in myself, just get rough ideas. We even do these before some of the planets are figured out, just to give the writers ideas. We had the idea for uh, Coralis actually before they had written it in. Uh, we based it off this area in uh, India, they're called shipbreakers and they break down the ships with torches. So we concepted up a, a, a whole planet like this and the writer said, hey that's pretty cool, let's, let's actually make this part of the planet. Uh, an early concept of what we're trying to get across in Coralis, which is this junk world of these gigantic ships and structures that these people were cutting apart for scrap metal. You know, very oily, dirty ground, polluted, rusted. These are some guys like hauling off some of the parts. So these are great for the environment artists to get a visual on what they want to try and do. Even before we start the level, the designers know what we're trying to get across. So we do these very early in the game development. The problem is, is, is how alien do you want to go? Or do you want to just use the, the cliches and just work with those? And sometimes it's better to, to use the cliches. Like people say, well, Alien World, it's a bit organic, but once you try making it out of jello with zero gravity, it's too alien and everybody goes, oh, that, that one sucked. I mean, I'm here to kill. We'll just go through Grunt uh, real quick here. So first phase, we're just trying to get some ideas down. Uh, this is Matt Rhodes and he did some uh, quick ideas for maybe what Grunt looked like. Wanted to kind of keep him uh, looking a bit younger than some of the other uh, Krogans and throwing down some quick patterns of what we might uh, want from them. Here's the original uh, Krogan done up. Maybe we're trying to get some more bare, uh, some bare arms on them. Maybe some kind of feeding tubes through there. These are some uh, ones that Ben Hewn had done up. And again, this is phase one. Just looking at a different kind of approach. This is something we were getting a bit closer to. We were kind of pl uh, playing around with a few materials on them. What, do you, what would he look like with snake scales on him? Maybe if he was green. This is the old uh, Rex head uh, from ME1. We'll maybe do a few variations of what his head might look like, some different colors. This is the final armor for him. We kind of had this nice, clean, metallic look on him. Once we do that, we give it to the uh, character artist. He's just a roughed in shape for the head, so we can kind of approve it and say, yeah, this is, this is getting uh, really close to what we want. Here's some of the, the changes we decided to make on it. So we'll have the concept go in there with just some quick Photoshop changes, bring out the horns a little bit. Some of the more final detail look, you're starting to get some of the texturing on the skin, some of the shapes in more defined on the horns. And then this is, uh, at, at this point, the final texturing. He's gone through a few more tweaks from here. Then this is his earlier armor. Eventually went back and made it a bit more silver, dinged it up a little bit. I think a lot of people think it's, it's just about us looking at drawings in the final work and saying, yay, nay, no, we do that, uh, this could be better, and then I just sit at my desk. But it's a lot of walking around, uh, talking to the artists, sitting down with them, making sure everything's going well. You know, it's about getting them motivated, giving them good, good ideas so they can take off those. I mean, you need something. It's hard to go into somebody and go, well, hey, I need an alien. Just do whatever you want. I mean, they need a bit of feedback from that, so. Don't mistake me for a common soldier. I think we were all surprised about Thane. Uh, Thane uh, was written as uh, an alien character, which we thought, hey, that's cool. But then he was also the female love interest. And immediately, that was difficult for us to do. Uh, just when you have to get, trying to get something that the girls like. We have girls in the office and they would always come by, I'm not too sure, and we're like, do you like Orlando Bloom or do you like Johnny Depp or do you, what do you like? And so 
You're trying to, do you want a dog's head on this guy or what? So what we actually did was we, we concepted them up. We weren't too sure, and then we actually released screenshots of them, and the forums lit up. And the, the girls loved them, and so that was a surprise for us. And then uh, we thought he turned out really well. I thought he, Thane is looks fantastic. He, he's he's really one of the best uh, characters in the game. I think. I was chosen for this mission because killing is an art, and I. I'm a master. Uh, taking from Mass Effect 1 to Mass Effect 2, what we had to do better was just getting the pipeline better. I mean, it really was difficult to make that game. So really, what we had to learn was a better way to build environments, uh, working closer with design, and then kind of building up these worlds a lot more. Uh, if you remember going back to Mass Effect 1, where you were walking around the environments, if you go back there, they were quite empty. It was mostly just the structures, a few people. We need to make it feel like people are living here. Uh, more uh, benches and chairs, more lived in, more like it was actually a working environment or world. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. As far as character goes, uh, what we wanted to do was just take some of the characters that people love from the first game and, and just alter them a little bit. Like, well, what does Tally look like in the, in the next game, in ME2? You don't want to change her too much so people don't know what she looks like, but you want to make her feel more mature. And then build off your alien species, keep getting more in there, and uh, taking it to the next level.